I'm a bit fed up of seeing these staged royal photographs uh -huh. and these sort of official portrait style things. And I think it's quite refreshing to see something a little bit different. And I think to see her in the gardens of her home, and I think that's significant as well, because people probably wonder what the backdrop is. What is the backdrop? Okay, so the backdrop is Ray, cemetery. It's Ray Mill House, oh. which is her bolt hole, which I'm told she's going to keep um, even when she's queen. So this is where she goes to escape royal well, well, life well, and have well, a bit of a break. And well, where is that? It's in Wiltshire. Near Lake she, Park, isn't it? That's right. And she bought it um, after her divorce from Andrew Parker Bowles. And um, it was very much her space. It's where she spends her Christmases with her family. It's where she does her gardening. It's where she goes to escape, I think, the pressures of royal life. So I think it's quite significant that she asked to be photographed there. Does Charles go there? He does, he does. Um, they go for a second Christmas with Camilla's family and I'm told Charles does the washing up when he goes oh, there brilliant. and he gets absolutely stuck in. So I think what you're seeing is not a memorial-style picture. I think uh -huh. you're seeing her at her most relaxed, about to do some gardening and I think how lovely that she asked the Duchess of Cambridge to take this picture. What? Are they close? They're very, very close. They really are. I think it's interesting, isn't it? You know, we were sitting here talking about the Fab Four last time and, of course, that was, was Harry and Meghan and William and Kate. Now I think we talk about a very different Fab Four, and we're talking she, she about Charles ask, and Camilla. She wouldn't and William ask Kate. Meghan to take a picture, then, would she? Well, I don't think Meghan is an esteemed photographer, is she? So, well, is that's what I wanted to ask you? Do you think um, the Duchess of Cambridge is an esteemed photographer? Do Look, professional photographers rate, rate her? her? Because there've been criticisms in the past that they're overexposed, or the backgrounds are a bit. You know, look, I'm not a professional photographer. Yeah. I do love photography and I look at that and think it is, so it is beautifully yeah. composed, right? It, it's sort of clear, the, the Duchess is clear, there's that clarity, the background is a little blurred. I have to say, I did speak to Alistair Morrison, okay. who taught Kate photography. Did he? Yeah, and he said that she is now really, really rated. And I think, listen, I'm sure there will be people that pick her technical prowess mm. apart, but actually what you cannot fault is the intimacy that she gets yeah. in those pictures because I don't think anyone else would be able to get yes. such a lovely because natural they, shot. they know her and exactly. it's all so relaxed. And there's a lovely rapport so, between them. So tell me this. So uh, Charles and Camilla, they're tootling down the motorway to Wales. Um, say there was going to be a, a protest in Ooh, front of them. Oh, good thinking, Eamon. Yes, no, I'm, you did that. Yeah. I'm thinking. Stuck on the M4. Yeah, they're going to get stuck on the M4, are they going into well, to Wales? Well, I, I, I think the most Cade will probably get them get them past if they need to. But um, they'll be going to Wales for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. They've got a really packed diary, actually. I mean, today they'll be in Cardiff. They're starting off in Cardiff. I mean, they're doing six engagements. Six engagements in one day. I think when you think about their ages and what they do, they are pretty remarkable. He, is... he asks for that, doesn't he, specifically, he, Charles? I think he, he thrives off of it, yeah. and I think it keeps him up. He is the Prince of Wales, so that connection with Wales is really, really important. They have a lovely holiday home there, which is where they stay during Where's what that? we call Wales. Don't ask me oh, to sorry. pronounce it, because I just will get okay. it wrong and I'll get lots of complaints. But it took him ten years to find this place, and this is where they stay during Wales Week. And um, they, you know, they have a very busy itinerary. I think it's a really important time for them to connect with the people of Wales. And, you know, Charles has spent a lot of time there over the years. It's a very special place to him. Why, why do they want so many homes for? I mean, how do they have time to stay in them? Because they have to visit all parts of the United Kingdom. And this is privately purchased, privately yeah. funded. Oh, it sure. is his holiday home. I'm sure it is. And, you know, after this, we will see them get back to engagements probably for a few more weeks here. And then, of course, they'll be going to Balmoral. And then that will be that. That will be their summer in Scotland before we resume with the autumn schedule. So it's been a very busy year for them. This is a this is a, a fun week that they always enjoy because they do love Wales. But, you know, when you think about it, six engagements, when they're starting off actually this morning, they'll be at the opening of the new BBC's new headquarters. They've got some that we can't talk about because they're embargo. But, you know, they finish off with this big um, evening of music and drama celebrating Welsh culture at a diplomatic reception. But you think at 75, yes. most people want to be putting their feet up. 100%. These, yeah. these two are just, you know, they're, they're, they're impressive. And I think the fact that the Queen bestowed that Order of the Garter on the Duchess of Cornwall mm. just a couple of weeks ago really tells you everything. She appreciates what the Duchess mm. of Cornwall is doing. We're going to, I think, probably read a really intimate interview. She's ed guest edited that issue of Country Life, but she's also sat down for one of, we're told, mm. her most candid interviews ever. I think it'll be very interesting.